Hi everyone, it's Jane. I'm just here today to do a really quick review on Horror Store, uh, which is this brand new book out, um, which I bought entirely on impulse. Um, uh, you know how they never judge a book by its cover? Well, that's exactly what I did with this one because, of course, this looks remarkably like this, which is what the whole thing's based on. Um, he goes to a little bit of effort to um, misdirect in the text of the book, but um, it's clear that this is this is the, this is the gimmick. They've got um, pieces of furniture that uh, throughout the book, but um, uh, it is actually a story. It's a it's a haunted house story essentially, set in a flat packing um, Scandinavian esque furniture store called Orsk. Here's our author. Here's Orsk, I, you know, ID tag, Grady Hendrix. So um, it's beautifully packaged. I'm not an aficionado of um, horror stories. I bought this book entirely based on uh, the cover design. I just saw it and I thought that's, you know, uh, I've just finished reading it. It's a quick read. It's not a, a super long story, which is good. It's, it's got um, some ideas about the kind of people that work in these sorts of stores, the kind of um, corporate mentality that's um, promoted in the store. There's a fair bit of reflection on um, the kind of architecture of these sorts of stores and how they are designed to um, uh, disorient the... <laughs> <laughs> the customers. As part of the narrative, they actually talk a little bit about the Gruen transfer, which, um, for those of you in Australia, uh, <laughs> you'll be incredibly familiar with the words anyway, I imagine, because it's the name of a TV show here. It's a show about marketing and how marketers and advertisers manipulate customers. I never actually wondered what the title meant. I well, maybe I had in passing, but in fact, a Gruen transfer is named after uh, an art, a designer who I think was responsible for the first of the mega malls. Uh, his name was Gruen. And the Gruen transfer is apparently the moment that you step inside one of these environments. Something happens. You, you slow down your walking pace and... There's a whole bunch of psychological stuff that's apparently going on where you transfer into this uh, uh, retail environment um, in which you, you know, forget what it was that you actually came for and you become putty in the hands of the design team. <laughs> you become a target market, which is, of course, what happened to me when I bought this book. So, you know, self-referential much. Um Okay, the story, just really quickly, it has a nice slow build. Um, you have a number of false climaxes in the first half of the book where you think you're about to find the monster. You know, the monster's about to be revealed, but actually something else happens. So that's, that's, that's some nice sort of twisting, twisting, twisting the tension up. Um, when we do get to the kind of in the you know in the second half of the book where everything's kind of happening fast and furious it's not mega graphic it's you know it's a horror story so there's going to be a bit of horror but it's not uh, mega mega graphic which is good for me I used to have a much stronger stomach for that than I do now I think the older that I get the the, the less entertained I am by blood and guts so we've got um, a sufficiently interesting cast of characters and I actually really liked the conclusion um, uh, which I of course am not going to tell you if you're looking for a horror story because it's so beautifully packaged for a person <laughs> person who does like it this would make a great gift book and it was a, an entertaining read. So there you go, horror store. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.